And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Nasus, another donation deck here. This one's kind of like Thresh Nasus, but not like real aggressive and much more controlly, right? So just kind of taking some of those same cards and playing it in a control deck, of course, because we want to be playing uh, Zillion here, getting our time bombs, blowing everything up. Um, at, you know, combining the time bombs with the one damage to all of their units with Withering Whale, another way to deal one damage to all the enemies that can also heal our Nexus for three. So kind of combining those two together, um, lots of good kind of mid-rangey uh, Shurima cards, Merciless Hunter and Sand Spinner, some good removal with that. Um, good card advantage, both Glimpse Beyond and Preservarium getting uh, drawing two for only two mana to dig us to find more time bombs. And then at the top end, we'll have Nasus as our other champion for our finisher, because hopefully with all of our uh, time bombs and removal spells and, and uh, these different units with the vulnerable, hopefully we've slayed a lot of units, and then we get Nasus Atrocity for our finisher. I like this ramp Rampaging Bakai. I think this is an underrated card, um, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about playing that one. And uh, yeah, that's that's the whole deck. We have Ride of Calling to help find our champions. Um, looks pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and get to it. We'll go play our five games in rank. All right, back to Aurelia Azir. Hopefully all of our little one damage things and Withering Whales will work out. One copy of the box. All right, those two gone for sure. And I think I'm going to keep Preservarium, but I could definitely see Mulligan getting Preservarium because uh, it doesn't affect the board right away. All right, predictions up. If you want to wager channel points, whether we're going to win or lose, pass. This Shereem Reward is one of my favorite, but I like a lot of the region one, Like, uh, the Noxus, the Freljord, um, this one, the Targon one. I like all four of those ones. Alright, good Vile Feast. Is it time for a time bomb? Not yet. I could take backup zillion, so then, then this zillion dies and we get four more time bombs in the deck. Which is not a bad idea as far as ideas are concerned. Let's do it. Time is winding. Like the thing is, I'm not exactly sure how this one is dying. Um, I'm going to hold on to the spider. Because I'm going to want the spider to enable Black Spear. Zillion is fun to play, isn't he? I've been playing a lot of Zillion recently on the labs. You know, went through the you know, normal, hard, heroic the last few days. And then last night, did the la legendary lab, recorded, put it up on YouTube. A YouTube exclusive. With me not wearing a tie. So did. That's fine. I don't... Do I want to Withering Whale that? Not really. Not really. But I do want to find some time bombs. Alright, no time bomb. I'll just skip. I could see taking another Chronomancer. That again would help find time bomb. That may not be bad. Maybe I should be taking that Chronomancer. I'll skip. There's a time bomb. Stop now. And as you can tell, I've been wanting this zillion to die so that I can play new zillion, and I want new zillion to see the time bombs. I feel good how this has gone so far, though. This is about as bad as a hand as their deck can do, right? Like, they had the sparring student on one, which we killed, but besides that, you know, no champion. Time for a leap of faith. This hasn't been too impressive. All in the they really should be passing there. 
It's not a good attack. Still no time bomb. This rampaging Bakai is pretty awesome, though. Oh well. I'll send it back. I want time bombs. We can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. So seven out of our thirty-seven are time bombs. So I want to level up Zillion, because then obviously with level up Zillion we get to replay all this stuff all the time. I must become the yeah, I used to sleep death. Okay, what do we have? Aurelia. Aurelia good, Aurelia good. I think I'll just pass. Oh man, I haven't thought about like how I've been how I've been blocking all these these one ones about all the slays that we've been getting. I hadn't, I hadn't really thought about that. We have been getting a lot of slays. And this thing making blade surge immediately is dumb. That's pretty dumb. Block this team. Let's block this team. Oh, I haven't had I haven't had something die. My plan was like blocking here, and then I was going to black spear. Right, that was like my plan. I was going to black spear the Aurelia, but I guess I hadn't had something die yet. All right, sorry, Zillion. Okay, I maybe messed that up. I'm gonna just cast black. You can't just cast black spear whenever you want. Okay, so we are kind of out of cards. But then again, they only have two cards over there. Oh, we still get another attack? Oh, then I should have played this Doom Keeper to block. Listen to me. I should play that Doom Keeper to block. All right, we gotta pay attention again, puppy. We gotta pay attention. Nessus! Yes. Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? I don't want this to happen. I don't want to deal with that. The desert by my side. Should I be saving that? Maybe. But you know, like this Nasus, they're they're at nine. Make that eight. This thing pretty big. That thing also pretty big. I dance not to forget, but to remember. But to remember. We stand in the footprints of past long trodden. But to remember. What is this? Another lead and follow? Oh. Well, that's bad. Well, that's bad. Distance. All right, so we get two more slays. Yeah, I haven't seen my opponents play Marshall in a long time. I don't know if they took Marshall out of the deck. I haven't seen a Marshall in a long time. That's the one that was put back in our hands, so that's the one that, that they know about. Oh my gosh, really? What a draw. I guess that doesn't kill me, right? No, it won't kill me. 
no, it won't kill me. Actually, we're fine, right? Because level up Nasus. So we'll be fine. We'll take three. So we'll be fine. Oh. <clears throat> we are uh, down to three. So they could. They could technically kill me. Seems a little far fetched with me having Withering Whale. Alright, I'm not gonna play the Time Bomb. I'm gonna keep Withering Whale plus Siphoning Strike, depending. You know, they have like some big elusive. We have Siphoning Strike, they go wide, we have Withering Whale. Yeah, Nazis just shuts this down. I'll just go to six. I'm just getting four slays, basically. Make that Nazis even bigger. I could have tried to draw Zillion and then go double time bomb and level up Zillion, I guess. But, as you know, this game's over. We'll just put our opponent out of their misery. Alright, so 1 and 0. Oh, okay. So this is by. So it looks like, you know, all these Targon cards. This is probably just Atrocity as the, the top of their curve. I imagine that this kind of deck is going to be very good against ours, right? Because they're going to be doing all the invoking. And invoking is very powerful. And then they have the Celestials Shields at the top end, right? Like 9 mana Spell Shield and all that garbage. Um, and then plus Atrocity. So I, I imagine this is a really rough matchup for us. That's my... Too early to pick prediction. Beginning of the game prediction. Is that this is a bad matchup? Because playing non-Targon control versus Targon invoke doesn't work out very well. But I haven't played against a deck like this in a while. So it, it makes sense that it shows up whenever we're playing this kind of deck. Hey, Rose is here. Hey, Rose. Yeah, we're playing your deck. Good win against Aurelia Zero first round. They did, didn't have a great Aurelia Zero hand. The desert by my side. Opponent may be disconnected. That could be that could be an out. That could be how we win. Oh no, they're back. Three slays so far. Zillion. Now, then. Zillion with the time bombs. So they still have whatever they got with the Solari Priestess invoke card so far. Like, that's their, their invoke card they still got. They can gem this Mountain Goat back. Oh, that's alright.
So I only waste one mana, they waste a lot more than one mana. I like Blue Sentinel quite a bit. It's really good against the aggro decks. It's a great blocker on round three. Oh, I'm sorry, on round two. Preservarium would have been nice to have you last round. Yeah, I, I like this Rampaging Bakai. I think that's a good card. I thought about blocking with Merciless Hunter because of that card. As you can tell, I didn't. I thought about Phil Cascade. Okay, NASA's kind of big. Probably gonna get hushed. They still so they have two of these Celestial cards that cost one or less now. Cost three or less because I think they still have the other one from the last the fangs because I think that's the third the fangs and they've played two of them and they still have another I think See what we see, soldiers. yeah they're gonna hush they're gonna be hushing my asses for sure Could also be holding Sunburst. Where are my time bombs? We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Okay, so that's our last of the fangs. I think that's actually like the invoke card that was from the the three mana invoke card. So they could just so it could be the five mana obliterate. Sand and blood. Did I freeze time again? Oh yep, you froze time again. Yeah, they're they're an atrocity deck. That's their Shadow Isles. I guess looks looks like they got Doom Beast as well. But yeah, they're they are a an atrocity deck. We need one more time bomb. Level up Zillion. Just keeping up me in it to be able to kill the Nasus, it seems like. Our penance is to serve, Curator. You serve the Empire. I am but your guide. Wrap him up tight! No more trespassers! I should have these two attacking the other way around, because yeah, they they want to block the life steal on the five three. Like that's that's a mistake. I should have those two the other way around. Uh, 
Okay, so we got rid of a hush and a falling comet. Tried two ways for them to deal with Nasus. Looking for another Nasus now. I'm waiting on this other time bomb until we have the leveled up Zillion, right? So now, like, leveled up Zillion, we'll see this other time bomb in hand. I forget that that doesn't get rid of Spell Shield. I always forget about that. Yeah, we can feast it a couple of times now, but like feast plus black spear. Yeah, they can't have okay, they can't have right negation. Just double feast. And the reason why they did that is because it's about to die to this time bomb anyway. Well, I'm just gonna play Marcel Sancho. I don't, I don't get the vulnerable, but. Down to five. I'm gonna have a lot of creative cards this round. I'm not gonna be able to play all of them. I just spent 12 mana of cards right there. Obviously, I can't spend 12 mana of cards again. Down to 11. playing an Aurelian Soul. I hate this Aurelian Soul animation. I hate this take 10 seconds to to do that invoke. And then this, it's, it's a little absurd. Alright, busting up Spell Shield. Like, is it better just to cover up the time bomb? No, probably not. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, so we'll have Siphoning Strike now. Of course, I don't have the mana for both Siphoning Strike and Atrocity. Well, I guess my only out is Atrocity, isn't it? I can't stop this thing otherwise, so... God hope they don't have another Hush. I think that's my only out. Yeah, this is the only play. So work. It worked! Got him. We still beat the Invoke deck. We had our leveled up... Uh, Zillion. Get us those extra cards. Known to gear, new VIP. Love it. Okay, what do we got? Aurelia Azir. All right, Vengeance is a little expensive, and Preservarium, you know, like I can keep or not keep. Um, you know, like we're gonna want to play these things like round two, round three. It's like we want we want to be able to affect the board and everything before that, but it's just two mana to draw two. It can be really useful like round four, round five. I think I'd leave it. Because I've kept... See, there we go. That's what I was going to say, is I've kept... I'm really glad we mulliganed it. Because I've kept Preservarium before, and then we just find... An, and then we just have something like this happen. You know, we then we draw Preservarium, Nasus, and now our hand is looking terrible. If we had, like, two, you know, imagine this with two Preservariums and a Nasus, like, that's pretty rough. So, I'm glad we sent it back. Gonna need a time bomb. Time bomb. All paths lead me here. Boo. Every blade, every beat in its place. I 
I should have blocked one of those with the zillion, I think. Alright, champion down. Right. I gave them that, I was like, I'm going to give them priority, then I'm going to sand spinner, but then I realized, wait a minute, <laughs> we can't sand spinner after that. Oh, that's an expensive hand. Two six, two sevens, a four and a five. <laughs> two four is a five, two six, two seven. Yeah, I should have passed. It was a bad attack. Should have passed. Yeah, just a little brain fart there, because I was thinking, okay, well, I'm going to pass, give them priority, then I sand spinner. But then I was like, wait, I could just also attack, give them priority. And then after I attacked, right, I was like, wait a minute, I can't do that, because now I can't sand spinner. I'm just... What now? Try to clear some stuff up. I would like to draw anything that doesn't cost four plus mana. Yuck. Like one mana spells? That must be nice. <laughs> I would love a one mana spell. Can we get a one mana spell? So it's only three life difference for keeping Zillion alive. That's not that much difference in life. You know, we'd be at 12 if I would block the Azir. Yay! That doesn't cost lots and lots of mana. Alright, lead was Sand Spinner. Observe the price of ambition. To ruin. It's maybe not a bad pass. You gotta imagine they're they're gonna pick up their Azir. What if I pass? Because yeah, I imagine it's like retreat return, that kind of stuff. Alright, pass back. Says you. Says you. Yeah, I was gonna say they have to be worried about another time bomb, right? Let's be down to three. Okay, so Rite of Negation or Vengeance? Doing one of those two. Certainly wish I had the mana for both. I guess it's Rite of Negation. Then I can play another blocker. I don't necessarily think they have to have Homecoming. Yeah, I guess kill Zillion's the better play, isn't it? Kill Zillion over killing the mana gem. Yeah, I should have killed Zillion. I... Yeah, I should have killed Zillion. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. I should have killed Zillion. That would have better. All right, give me that withering whale. Yeah, that was a mistake. Should have killed Zillion. Okay, so now what do we do? Our cards all cost a lot of mana. I guess we're going Nasus. Yeah. I will not think Rima bow to a tyrant. No, 
You will see it rise with its emperor. We dance to the drums of war, and all our hearts beat as one. Every blade, every beat in its place. This too shall end. Fall to pieces. Sedition! Mind your form. Blah. Blah. I'm one mana short from Nasus plus Withering Whale because I destroyed that mana gem. I dance not to forget, but to remember. Gross. Like, is it Withering Like, do I have to play Withering Whale this round? I have 10 mana. If I Withering Whale, then I can also Merciless Hunter and Chronomancer. I've been practicing, and it's not perfect. But look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. Yeah, yeah, this is a close game. If I would have just killed the Zillion, I would have felt a lot better about this. I felt a lot better about this. The order is given. Dissident. You again? Handle more one health things. So last card in hand's another one health thing. We can handle that. Yeah. Awesome. Because I think this this Aurelia can only do. Like we we still stay alive here, right? Because we have to block both of those, so they can't switch. You know, so they can't switch the Azir. And then, but they can switch it really, but they only do five damage. So we stay alive at one. All right, and they're left with nothing in hand. And only a vulnerable Aurelia. And I got this big Nasus. Our penance is just served, curator. You serve the Empire. I am what you got. That's such a good draw. That was the best draw in the deck. That was their only draw that kept them alive. Yeah, and they have the blocker now, and they get to kill. That was the best draw in their deck. I'm kind of dead now. Oh no, because because really okay or yeah because yeah. So when they when they blade dance the next time, they'll be zero ones. So we're not dead dead. Okay, no, we're we're fine. Oh, I guess I can also pull this. Right, it's vulnerable. Okay, that makes it even better. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Um, I'm going to hold on to you, Time Bomb. I'm going to hold up both Vengeance and Siphoning Strike. We're now Vengeance Withering Whale. Yes, we're good. So yeah, these don't do anything. But I'll go and slay one. Play some more. Okay, there we go. Three and oh, what a game. That was a little closer than it needed to be, <laughs> but we got there. But to be fair, if I since I killed my Zillion, or since I didn't kill the Zillion, then they had the 2-1 alive. So maybe that incentivized them to play their Azir? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, easy mulligan here, right? Atrocity's gone, Valfeast is a keep. Easy peasy. This three times Withering Whale has been really clutch in the Aurelia Azir matchup.
What we got? Merciless Hunter. You can always rely on you to keep us safe. That card likes to slay. Turn it, like so. it likes to slay at leases. turn. So that's our first slay for Rampaging. Gonna find a gift for an actin, right, Arda? We'll try to have 3-2-2-3 three, two, two, three trade. Um, question is, would you use this deck in a tournament? I'm not sure. I could see, this does seem like a pretty good tournament deck because it's, Come close. it has some polarizing matchups. Like, where it's going to be a lot better against aggro than, than like, some invoke control decks. And so you can ban, you know, like, like I feel like Shivana, Zoe, Aurelian Soul decks are are a real problem for this deck. But, like, with the tournament, you get to ban those decks, and so you can play against more aggro, where, like, all your Withering Whales will be better. Right, so with that kind of... Um, yeah, I just can't. I just have to play it. With that kind of um, control over what you are playing against... It does make this kind of deck, this style deck, better. Skitter out from the darkness. Behind ya. Alright, so that's four slays. Now it's four for the rampaging Bakai. I'm striking the thing that attacks and deals one to me. That we can't deal with. Plus it's only two damage on this one, so now it's still a four for him. Yeah, yeah, I'll trade. So that's what that card's likely going to be doing anyways, is trading like that, but then I get even more... Okay, so... I didn't play Withering Whale right away because of Noxion Fervor. So we're going to hold on to Withering Whale because of Noxion Fervor. Depending on me. That's not a bad card to lead next round with. Let's see, 11. Well, okay, I guess I, I guess I just have Nasus Weathering Whale, so. Alright, sorry, Doomkeeper. Just one card. We have, like, unless that card is, um, Stalking Shadows that then hits Imperial Demolitionist or Doom Beast. Even that, that's only four. I guess I have that covered too. I think I have everything covered with Withering Whale. Anything they could have. Like, if it's Demolitionist, I'm using the box. Or, you know, for, you know, Fervor, Demolition, and Fusion Blanc. But now, I guess... Yeah, this is the problem is now Top Deck Fervor, isn't it? Yeah, that's kind of the problem is Top Deck Fervor. 
They don't have anything that does one damage, so I could just... I can let them attack for two, right? I can I can take another two. Because I think I have to glimpse beyond this zillion right now to draw two cards to help me protect against Fervor. Unspeakable Horror? I guess if they have Unspeakable Horror, I die, right? Like, is that... Is that a thing? What's more likely? They top deck Fervor or Unspeakable Horror? You think I should just pass? You, you play Unspeakable Horror in your deck like this? I'm gonna draw two. I'm gonna... I think it's worth getting two extra cards towards, you know, because any, like, a Withering Whale, a Vile Feast, either of those end the, end the game on the spot. Wait. Nope. So we would have drawn, good, Atrocity ends the game on the spot. Cool, we're good. Why would you not attack there? Alright, we're good. So good thing we did that, right? Okay, because, yeah, if they would have drawn Fervor... I would have lost right there to Fervor, but with playing that Glimpse Beyond, then we found, the, you know, we dug far enough to have the Atrocity so that we didn't die to Fervor. So we've played this kind of deck with Kindred before, but Nasus is really just a better finisher than Kindred in this kind of deck. Like, it's it's a big upgrade playing this with Nasus over Kindred. Which is too bad. Kindred's a lot of fun. What champions pair well with Chrono Shift? Um, champions that, you, that have a, a good effect while they are in play. So, like, a, a, that you want to keep in play. Like a Fiora. A Twisted Fate. A, I guess the Twisted Fate just go, gets towards level up. I guess maybe not Twisted Fate as much. But Fiora, certainly. Um, Heimerdinger. They can keep on... Like Heimerdinger or Ophelios, they keep on getting you more cool stuff. To keep us safe. Alright, I'm just gonna pass. Uh, yeah, a card like Vi, like Vi with the Challenger also, awesome with Chrono Shift. Vi Thresh, like any of the challengers. No champions. Do we do a very good job finding champions? I cannot go. Dissident. I can certainly see them vile feasting my two one. So like maybe I should block with the two three to keep that from happening, but meh. It's fine. Destroy a mana gem? Wait. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Because they did that because they didn't want me to Vile Feast. Like, they destroyed the 0-1 and then I Vile Feast and then we countered their right of negation. I think that's what they're thinking. But, like, so why not just sacrifice the 3-3? Three, because three? then at that point, like, why... Why not just let it resolve... I guess, like... We love it when they run. I do love it when they run. That was a good V-Box. How you doing, Nasus? Where are you at? 4-4? Four, four? I've only slayed two units. That's not too many units. Those are rookie numbers. Let's let's bump up those those slay numbers. So we got more cards in hand, more things in play, more mana. At least more mana gems. Betrayal bears Rima. Hope revived it. Arna's gonna make a meal of them! Can be undone. Quit struggling. Uh. 
So I imagine they're going to try to Black Spear. So we'll sacrifice this thing, draw two. Cool, another, another Nasus. Valve, he's my own thing. Keep them from getting a slay. It's just like Valve feasting their spider, but they don't get the slay and I do. I walk through the ages. It's tough for me to play play this Nasus. Y'all know me, I love playing Zillion. Zillion's so much fun, and then we have the Black Spears all up also. It's tough for me to play this Nasus, but I mean, it is. It is a 10 10. It's. I think it's just the best play to do. But it's not easy for me to do it. I don't know how big their Nasus would be. So we know this is either Thresh or Nasus. Don't know how big theirs is going to be. I'm guessing 5 5. Okay, it's Thresh. No attacks? No attacks, huh? Six, only six more mana if I play Sand Spinner. If only mortals were not driven by avarice and hatred. They will learn just as we Alright, GG's. Oh no, I was thinking like maybe get rid of some fearsome blockers. Wiser with each victory. 5 0 Dream. Yo, first 5 0 in a long time. I think since Callista Jinx. It was the last deck that we went 5-0 with, and that was like, like 10 days ago. Um, we didn't play against... I think that... I think, like, if you're wondering, like, where is this deck going to really struggle? I think this is going to struggle against Zoe, Shivana, Aurelian Soul, Demacia, Targon decks. Like, they're just so big in size and fury and, and things like that, I think. And, you know, having Hush and all that kind of stuff. I think that's going to be the toughest matchup. We didn't face it. We did face a Targon deck, and we did beat that Targon deck. And so I was impressed there. It wasn't a Demacia Targon. But, you know, it was, was an Invoke deck. Uh, but I think those those are going to be like your tougher matchups. Um, but I I liked how this was faced against like I liked how this felt against a really Azir and Thresh Nasus with having all these Withering Whale and the Bonks and just you know Merciless Hunter Sand Spinner and Rampaging Bakai. I loved Rampaging Bakai. I love really like all three of those. And then you know Vile Feast also Vile Feast was clutch many many times. And combining those all with Time Bombs. Vile Feast, Time Bomb, Withering Wheel. I liked it. I liked all those together. And then, you know, you got good card advantage with Preservarium, Glimpse Beyond. And Nasus is just such a ridiculous finisher. So I could see this being this working out pretty well, especially if you're kind of playing like a more tournament style where you get to ban the, um, you know, like those, those kind of like big decks and you play against a lot of more aggro decks. I like it. I think this was a, a pretty cool list. Yeah, so most of these cards are useless versus TLC. So yeah, TLC is a really, really tough matchup for you. Uh, Lissandra Trundle. Yeah, that combo deck. Yep. Yeah, so I, got, I, I can definitely see that because, yeah, that's a lot of these cards are completely useless. So yeah, I guess that's the other deck you're banning, right? So you are you hope your opponent's not playing Lissandra Trundle and Demacia Targon, and you can ban whichever one they're playing out of those two. Yeah, pretty good pretty good deck. So, you know, you're going to have some... You're going to have a couple of tough matchups. Um, but... Uh, as far as, you know, playing Zillion, this is probably the, the best way to play Zillion right now with Nasus as the other finisher. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, y'all know the drill. Hit that like button, but also leave those comments. Those comments really help the channel, and I really appreciate them. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Let me know in the comment section, and if you try the deck out yourself, you know, let me know how it goes for you, or just anything about the videos, anything like that. Um, what else? Other decks you want to see? You know, anything in there. Just let me know how the weather's going. <laughs> the weather is. I don't know. All right. Anyway, that's going to be it here for Zillion Nasus. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.